Welcome back, folks. Now, if you tuned in last week, you'll know that we sold our house in the busy southeast of England, moved into our camper van, and set off on a quest to find a quieter life here in Ireland. After spending the past few months driving around this beautiful island, we have fallen in love, not only with the scenery, but the people as well. <laughs> last week, we showed you two beautiful remote cottages, and even though I fell in love with this one, fortunately, it wasn't the one, and we're gonna get inside because it's raining. This week we are taking a look at four more, but the question is... Do we want a big project? Do we want land? Are outbuilders really that essential? Or would we prefer a retreat in the forest? This adventure is only just beginning, so if this is the kind of thing that floats your boat or you two are dreaming of a hideaway somewhere remote, then hit subscribe, because I'm pretty sure this adventure is going to get interesting. Oh yeah. I didn't need the oh yeah. <laughs> Gonna be your house that you're gonna have to live for the next several years in well, caravan. Oh, hold, hold, come on. I got to look. Can't be camera crew, Louise. I've got to, I'm busy. Also, we're not trespassing. We had authorization by the estate agent to climb the gate. That were exact words. <laughs> caravan is a little work, Louise. Yeah, caravan. You, you do the caravan, and I'll do the house. Be there connections? Yeah, there's water. That might be your electric. Well, the waste pipes are there, but they're not connected. Bit of a clean, chuck a sofa in it, golden. <laughs> Is this like your ideal type of purchase, Louise? Something where it's a real big project? Yeah, the project I like, mm -hmm. but what I immediately don't like is the house is very boxed in by this. Yeah. Like the house isn't open. No. Outside seating area, lovely. Watch your step. Oh, put that <laughs> <laughs> Take the camera, Louise, take the camera. This is the project, right? This is the project. So we've got no idea what they was trying to do, but as you can see, it's partly done. So that's obviously original. I love that you say partly done. I feel that it's, um, a, what, 10%? <laughs> no, it's partly done. Yeah, I don't know, because there's more around here as well, so... There is. I definitely don't know what... Well, we could do whatever we want with it. Oh, there's yeah, a bit of, of the original house. There's a little bit there. got a loo. See now this, use your imagination, but you chop all that down and then you have got a nice, actually this is this side of the house is nice. Yeah, this side of the house, I think, yeah, I just don't know what I was trying to do with that bit, but obviously I know you can change it, I, I get that. And yeah. then you've got a, well I don't know what you're going to do, you're screwed here. <laughs> <laughs> Off you pop. I thought that's a bit too dangerous for me, I just nearly slipped coming in Louise. Yeah, I feel like this is a big, big project, right? Middle sized project. Middle sized project. Really? Yeah. Oh, I got a little like secret garden. Yeah. Oh, this is nice, but. The only thing I will say is that's the neighbour through there mm. and they've got screaming kids. Well, they've got kids. Yeah, you can't say that. We don't know if they're screaming kids, but you just don't want to be sat out here in your tranquility on a Saturday and all you can hear is there. Louise! It's true though, isn't it? Oh, I spy your office. You do get a lot of land. You do get a lot of land with this one. What is it? 2.7 2. 2. acres. 2.7 acres with this. So this one's on the market for €120,000, which is about £105,000. Uh, and for that you get the house, which obviously needs completely doing, plus all the land, plus all the, the outbuildings, and 2.7 acres. Location's nice, there's a lot of birds. Yes, I can hear them. There, can will, hear... there will be bird feeders everywhere. I here. would have this kitted out for birds, yeah. Go back in the house. Yeah, I like, I like this side. You'd make this kitchen, I think, big, long kitchen. Do you reckon? Yeah, living room down there. Living room down there. With the views out on the grass and the lawn and stuff. So you'd say like, um, would you say, Kitchen this end and dining room that end, looking out onto no, the No, I'd put the kitchen, kitchen that end, I'd put the kitchen in there. Dining room here. Into a dining room here with maybe a couple of like a little sofa or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then step down into the small 
living room. Cozy. Where have, yeah, the cozy living room. You've got loads of windows in there, loads of light. <sighs> I'll put your step in. <laughs> you don't need to. About that. And then that would look out here. And then I think you'd have that end, that other part of the house as bedrooms and a bathroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's loads of birds. <laughs> there is loads of little birds. You're loving it, aren't you? I do like it though. I feel that I need to see more. To know, to know, but I mean, like for me, to know, to know what I fully want, I'm gonna need to see lots, a few different styles and types. Of, i.e. like houses that need that are actually houses <laughs> <laughs> and need like ripping out inside. If that makes sense. I think we need to see as many as we possibly can just yeah. so we can clarify 100% what we want. Because yeah. as much as I love the cottage and I really do love the cottage, there's not a lot of project there. There's the extension. We'd put the extension yeah. on. Yeah, and we'll a bit the extension of, on. A few bits we can build in the garden, but it's not a big project. No, and also the land isn't that big that you get with it. Yeah, the a, third, not... a third of an acre. So you're getting like two and a bit acres extra with this. And this house is actually bigger, like quite a bit bigger. Yes, yeah. I'd say, oh, it's just... Oh, Did we shut that door? So this would be, what would they have this as then? So maybe you'd have this as like a an entrance living room. No. Well, what would you have it as? Yeah. Look how dark it is. <laughs> yeah, but use your imagination. No, that's not that. Yeah. <laughs> Velux window in the roof, two of them. That'll bring in all the light. And then you'd have cosy lighting. Moving on. Oh, you got a view. I'll give you that. You definitely got a view, yeah. First impressions? First impressions. It looks nice. Oh, I've got cows, Louise. There are some cows in the field just there. I don't think they come with a house. Shame. Although AJ is hoping, aren't you, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> don't you look by day? Oh, there is, it's a nice view, isn't it? You like it, don't you? Yeah, I like this one better than the other one. Oh, they're calves, Louise. Right. They're very cute, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Like, no. no, I don't like you. It's not electrocuted, is it? No. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Plenty of space for vans. We get loads of vans on here. Who are you inviting over? Get one visitor a year. It's a, you can see how much land you get when it's like this, can't you? Yes, yeah, because it's all open. So this yeah. is about the same size as the other one, yeah. but obviously you can just see a lot more. You can see a lot more. So is that all I think all of that is it as well, yeah? Wow. Because it said on the thing, the thing, thing in the field. The thing, thing in the field. <laughs> you know, the house is the, the sheds in the field. What, all the way down there? Yeah, I think so. No. I think so. We can look on the thing. Well, we, yeah. That plot is way smaller then. Well, I don't know. This is narrow, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You, you could do your runs up and down there, Louise. You can fuck off. It's exposed to the wind, though. <laughs> I was just thinking that, actually. So you'd want to, I'd quite... say, maybe a tree, get a tree partition going up around yeah. here and then a path going off down there. But yeah. it's, it is quite, a, yeah, the camera's not going to do it justice, but it is quite a steep hill down. Yeah. See, now exactly, it's like, You've got that, but what are you doing with it? Well, we want to grow food, don't we? That's a long way down to walk every day, Yeah, Liz. but you've got that as your garden. So I would say you fence off this, come and have a look at my garden. <laughs> oh, you do like this one, don't you? Oh, it's slopey, it's slopey. Oh man, I should have put my boots on. Oh no, I've still got mine on, at least because I'm sensible. If this, uh, if this was uh, a potential, I believe you're going to have to have a good fence if we're going to have cows in the field next door <laughs> with AJ. <laughs> <gasps> Maybe not. What's happened now? <laughs> oh no, Louise. You know what they say? You break it, you pay for it. This is an old cow shed. It is an old cow shed, look. A cow shed. We've got a wheelbarrow. Buy a free wheelbarrow. We've got an offering. <laughs> I was worried where we was going to get a wheelbarrow from. I oh, know, I haven't seen any wheelbarrow shops, you know. Watch your fingers. I'll just hold the camera. <laughs> hey? I'll just hold the camera. Watch your fingers. <laughs> I'm worried, babe. I'm doing my best not to. Shut my fingers in it. <laughs> That's the kind of engineering you can expect to see on these build projects that we're going to be doing. <laughs> she just goes 
straight in. Don't think about the spiders, will you? Now, is this a project enough for you? Oh, I don't know if it's enough of a project. Maybe if we were to put an extension on the house, straighten up the roof. Straighten up the roof. Um, <laughs> look at that, look at the house. Da, 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 da. And then up this tiny. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about it is it's very open. It does feel actually, it feels too open, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's too open. You'd need to, and obviously trees take a long time to mature and get that, yeah. that cosy feeling. Yeah. So I like the house. I like the couple of little outbuildings. I mean, the view's nice, but it is open. Open, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more work to do with the land to make it a nice land. If that yeah, because sense. it's very uneven. Yeah, but people didn't buy houses back in the day to sit in the garden and chill out, did they? They bought them because <laughs> they had cows to look after, so they didn't, as long as grass grew, I don't yeah. care. Oh, this is hard, Louise. Who knew buying a house was going to be so hard? I actually think... You actually think? I actually think that... Um, out of the three that we've looked at... Four, we've looked at four. Have we? Yeah, the one, the first one we saw, we kiboshed straight away because it was very too remote for you and... Um... Uh, yeah, that ain't even in my head. Yep. So, oh. <laughs> I'm so good at this camera stuff. Professional, isn't you? <laughs> I actually think the one down the little cottage... You like the cottage the hideaway, best? ...is the one that I like the best. That I... No, the only thing that with with that one is that there's not a lot of land. No, it's 0.3 of an acre, so yeah, that would be my that would be my only thing. I like the one we saw a minute ago. Do you? The big project. The big project. Yeah. Apart from the kid, the kids are going to be a no so no go for me. <laughs> so we're saying no on this one. Take the camera on lactic acid. Because <laughs> it's not even windy today, but it's it's cold here because yeah. the wind's coming up there, isn't it? And yeah. I think this one might be a no because I do think it's a little bit too exposed and like you say it's cold but it ain't even that cold. No, I know but what I'm saying is you could stage all the gardens into yes. little areas and fence them off and put up trees and hedges and yeah. and do all of that, a lot of yeah. landscaping. Uh, so we get seven days, dry days a year I think in Ireland to do that landscaping so <laughs> 2057 <laughs> we'll have a nice garden. <laughs> Now, as you can see, those two properties gave us plenty to think about. There was aspects of each of them that we both really liked and aspects of each of them that we perhaps both didn't like. <laughs> we definitely want a project of some sort, but we don't want a project that big of property number one, do we? No, because I thought that was going to take like 10 to 15 years to do. And what I'm after is like something where you've got a little house going to take about 6 to 12 months to sort out and gut inside. And then you've got some side projects. Side projects, okay. Um, Emily wants to be in by next Christmas. Don't you? I do, I want to be all comfy cosy by the fire and have a little tree. And we were starting to lose hope because obviously we've not just seen the properties in real life, we've seen hundreds online and in our price bracket we was looking at pretty much a ruin, wasn't we? Yeah, we was, yeah. Uh, but property number three, when we show you that in a minute, that is a revelation. We'll explain why later. But first, I need to thank this week's video sponsor, which is NordVPN. Now, we've been using NordVPN in this van for over three years now. Yep, yeah, absolutely love them. It's been fantastic. So if you don't know, NordVPN marsh your IP address, doing that keeps you safe online. That's not the only benefit though. So basically what you do with NordVPN is you open up the app, you pick a country that you want to pretend to be in, it marsh your IP address, and it looks like you're in that country. Firstly, keeping you safe online, but secondly, meaning we can access streaming catalogues from all the other different nationalities. So for example, Netflix UK will only show you certain programs, and then for example, Netflix America will show you other TV series. So with a VPN, we have access to both. Brilliant for us in the van because it means when we're traveling and living in this van, which we might be doing for quite some time now, we can have a lot of entertainment readily available without relying on TV, which we don't have. And like I say, when we're abroad, we don't understand French or, you know, German TV anyway. So NordVPN is fantastic. You can have it on up to six devices. So it's we've got it on all our phones, laptops, our tablet, everything, haven't we? Yeah, all of it. If you want to try NordVPN for yourself, then head to nordvpn.com forward slash campervibe to get the two year plan with a huge discount plus four months extra. And it is risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, before we show you property three and four, we should explain. Now, we did film inside all of the houses and we really wanted to share with you the internal footage. But with hindsight, now that we are out of them, even though we did ask permission to film bits and pieces, these are people's homes. Now, they're both empty, but there's still like personal belongings yeah. and stuff in there. And we don't know the history as to why that person doesn't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if they're, you know, they've recently passed away or they, you know, we think showing that on all over the internet, two idiots walking around with a camera. Yeah. Um, 
you know, picking things out of people's houses that we like and don't like, it just would be a little bit perhaps insensitive. Sensitive. So instead, we're just going to show you the outside and then try and describe to you some of the inside features. So apologies if you um, if you was looking forward to seeing inside. Like I said, we did film it all, but with with retrospect perhaps yes. we've just sold a house and i know that perhaps if it, someone went around filming all our stuff yeah because obviously you go in there and there, there's pictures up or like you say personal belongings i don't think that i would want that plastered all over the internet either so yeah i th i believe that we're doing the right thing by not showing that inside but obviously if we do decide to purchase one you will see all the inside but no worries big rain's coming out so sorry for the noise there's lots to see of the outside of these properties that is very very interesting so here we go with what i'm calling the revelation property number three oh, nearly there. 400 meters really? this is what we're looking out onto this is lovely oh, it is really pretty we're on our way to see one and I'd completely ruled this one out. We're just coming just to look to rule it out basically, but um I'm not gonna lie. The surroundings the surroundings are very nice. This is probably my favourite landscape so far. No, I would agree. Like the view out that window, honestly, it's just yeah, it's pretty. Now now I want this house to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the house. The house itself looks very boring, is this it? Yeah. You like it, didn't you? It's it's the surrounding. The surrounding is actually oh, you need to get your drone up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. So there's an estate agent coming to let us in this one. So we're gonna have to wait for the estate agent to go, mm -hmm. and then I'll come back with the drone. Although they won't know that on the video because the drone shots will have been already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so pointless then. Pointless. Oh, I know those outbuildings come with it. I'm think, no. I think that I think they that shed thing there comes with it. Oh, you like this one, didn't you? I like this one. I, don't, I, feel, I would imagine that's the boundary there. Yeah. So you just be overlooking those fields. Although there is a gate. There is a gate there. The problem is we've read so many ads and write-ups that by the time we get to them, we forget which one comes with what. Yeah, this is true. There, there's just so many. There's so much that you can get here. There's so many options and it's it's really hard. But so, so far... You like this one? The yeah, location is... The, oh, the location, honestly. But shh. That's what we want. And it is right on a road, but you've got to understand that these roads, the odd yeah. tractor and a few cars, and that's it. You've got mountains over the well, hills. It's an hotel! <laughs> <laughs> you've only lived in the van like full, full time for a few days and you're that excited about an outside sack. I know, right? <laughs> let's live in the van for a year, she said. I can't see it. <laughs> let's, just, let's just look at that view over there, quick. <laughs> You like this one? Oh my god. And that might be our track up to the outbuildings. We can clear that out. Right, you need to you need to look at ad. Look at ad. Oh look, look at, at the ad again. Because this one is um this one's exciting me. You like this one? I do like this one. Look at like I get like you say it's right on the road, but it's a single track road. There's hardly anything. There's gonna be no traffic coming up here. Yeah. Because there's not many houses either dotted around it. There's a, a village. We're only, what, 10 minutes from the village? Yeah, 10 minutes from the village. Was there a Chinese in the village? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it. I saw a pizza place, <laughs> but there was an off street, so... So you get that barn. I think this is your boundary on this bit. And then you get this shed and that shed over there behind all that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I ain't entering these until you've done that. <laughs> just as like a, just so we know what we're, what we're working with here, so we know know what each other are doing and stuff because there's spiders and everything in there, the way you say there is. my language box. But you're chief strimmer, so this is all your I'll, I'll do the domain. outside because I'll have my goggles on and my mask on. This is the granny annex. The granny annex. Yeah. If I can get change of use, we can turn that into a little, a little one bedroom annex. 
and then this is the office. It's hard, isn't it? You like this one though, didn't you? I do like this one. I do. It does tick every box. It's not, it's got no neighbours at all. No. It's peaceful. Yep. We can park the van here. We can park the van here. It's got water and electric, which is a bonus. Yeah, strip the house out. It's you know, quiet. Maybe. I've seen some birds flying around. Yeah. There's plenty of land because you get the field next door. Yes. There's a project. There the house won't take too long. No, no, no. And we can extend on that as well. We can extend on the house. I'm, I'm having a porch. You can have a porch, yes. But there's a few flies. And it's on budget, just. Yeah. What about the flies? What do we think about the flies? Well, once we start to clear the land, there will be less flies and do you reckon? yeah i reckon they're all coming from the field next door i reckon that's probably a bit boggy oh. and that's where they live oh. as we meandered around this beautiful irish countryside we had a lot to think about even more so when we randomly stumbled across this little gem even in the rain it had appeal <laughs> now you like this one didn't you it's a it's a better house but is it better surroundings? Because don't forget, Louise, we can change a house. Yeah. We managed to find it online, called the estate agent, and there was just about enough time left in the day for us to have a look around, by which time the rain had cleared and the sun had come out. Now we'd love to show you inside this one as it was just what we were looking for housewise. Plenty of space, lots of character, and of course, a fair bit of work. It had an open fireplace in the living room, which would be perfect for a big log burner, three huge bedrooms, and a kitchen full of space, light, and character. It certainly gave us plenty of food for thought. It is a big bit of land when you see a person on it. What do you do? Where's your heart go? The other one. To the other one. And where's your head go? This one, because it's not gonna cost us so much money. <laughs> No, like, oh, I know what you're saying about the house because obviously this house is already a decent size and the other house isn't the house, if that makes sense. Like we want to put an extension on it and there's work to do there and stuff. But as soon as I got to that plot, I instantly loved it. Then that's the one we should buy. Yeah, but I know that you like this one. Yeah, but I like the other one as well. Yeah, I know, but I'm a Gemini. I can't make decisions. I just, I don't know. Like even, like both of the houses are in not a good state, if that makes sense, like a move in state. You got to look past all of the, <laughs> the bits and do it. But I even still think that I like the other house. It is difficult, but now the sun's coming out on this one. Yeah, no. It adds a whole new dimension to it, doesn't it? And I can hear the birds now. You can hear the birds. I'm going to buy a house based on flipping goldfinches and blue tits. <laughs> yeah, and you can also hear like the wind rushing through the trees and stuff. You did have the stream at the other one. I think they've both got a stream, actually. I think there's a stream running down both of them. Yeah, but you also had the view. The other one did have the view. Emily's never been bothered about a view. No, so never. For never. most of our marriage, it's been an argument. I didn't want to live in a housing estate and you preferred to be around people. Yeah, didn't you? yeah. But since we travelled, you now what fancy the peace and quiet, am I right? Yes, yeah? yeah. I love a bit of peace and quiet and stuff. And But you weren't too fussed about the view. And we was looking online, I was like, yeah, but you can see the house over there. But now she's like, now you've seen one. I know. And like you sit in there and that living room is pro if I could have that living room in the other one because that living room how you uh, like position your sofas you could look out on like onto the view but here it's just the trees and the road whereas at the other one you've got the view it's like I want to take little bits yeah of each I think that's always going to be the case right I think even when we was looking at houses before yeah it was always ah oh, this house this area so I think that's always the case yeah but this is where I'm thinking like decking area to come out i'm thinking decking area all the way out to to here somewhere so a huge big decking area which will then be raised up yeah and then you'd have because the sun here the sun comes up over there and comes around the front of the house and goes down over there so you'd have sun here for most of the day although in the winter this is going to block it so you're going to get way more sun at the other one that's given and i'm going to have a rocking chair <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and also um, a little porch. You can have a porch on either house, so you don't need planning for a porch. No, you don't need planning for a porch. 
I think we should ride back to the other one. We'll go back and have a look at the other one. Yeah. Yeah, see how well. Because we've just literally come from here. It's like 10 minutes away. 20 minutes. 20 I minutes think. away. I think we need to, like, go, go. Yeah. One thing we are both very much agreed on, though, is we really like the area, don't we? Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's just. It's stunning. It's stunning, <laughs> it people. Is, it is a stunning area. We yeah, definitely sold on this area, I think. And you've got everything within reach. Um, and in like, I won't say exactly how much time, but you're not too far from the coast. So. Yeah. And you know what? I f I did think that from being down in like the south, down on the Kerry Kerry Way and stuff like that, I really really liked it there. And I was like. I think we're going to be hard pushed to find. We wasn't excited about coming up here to look at houses, was we? No, no. And I don't want that to come across as bad, but it, and as soon as we got here, it was like, oh, bugger, this is... The southwest is lovely, but this has got the country, like, uh, I don't know how you put it. It's very green. There's trees. There's like rolling hills. hills there's and... mountains just up the one way. And like I say, we're not too far from the coast if we do fancy a beach day. Th this is it. I think that this area has got a lot to offer and it's changing like you go for one you're like oh I'm like we're in a peak district oh I look like we're in the lake district and it's then all of just... a sudden we're in Cornwall it's just yeah it's I like this area yes yeah. this, this Plus, area is it it's not touristy so the, the we've lived in tourist towns before mm -hmm. both in the southeast and the southwest and we know that it's amazing living in those places but when the sun finally does shine for four yeah. days in the summer you can't use them because they're absolutely packed and and we say that as tourists it's in a, this country yeah, at the exactly, moment so yeah. No, we, we understand, we get it. Right, to the other one? To the other one. And then we'll see if we uh, if any of them are still available, because they go quick. And they we'll do. To, we'll have to have a long, hard think. Oh my God. We did go back to the other property. We went there just as the sun was about to set and as beautiful as it looked in the nighttime light, we did love it. But the one thing that was putting us off and it was a concern for us was I got bitten twice by mosquitoes in the short time that we was there, like looking at it for a second time in the evening. And for us, it's just not an option, is it? No, because we want to, like, we've parked the van in so many beautiful places and to have, not be able to sit outside and be eating, us, it, it's just not, not what we wanted. Yeah, a big reason why we're moving to the country is so we can spend more time outside and if we're constantly swatting mosquitoes and wearing smidge and stinking of <laughs> mosquito repellents and then they obviously bite the dog and the cat as well, they've been covered in them in the past yep. before. It's just not something that we want to live with all the time, so we ruled that one out. But it was a revelation for us, that property, wasn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. We now know what we want. We want to have a house that's a little bit of a doer-upper, but we can move into fairly quickly, but we also want to have a project on the side, isn't it? Yes, and then with some land, but not masses of land, because as much as we'd love like a full on small holding, we're just not there yet in our lives. Like we've got a lot of big travel plans still to come. So we're looking more for a, a base that's a project that's a base so we can still go off and do our big travels. And having a big small hand in with lot small holding with lots of land to look after, we'd end up paying someone to look after it while we're away and like we couldn't have chickens and goats and all that yet, could we? No, and plus I wouldn't want to leave them all of the time. I'll get so attached to them that you just wouldn't want to leave yeah, all the Yeah, we, we can't leave our existing animals, so we wouldn't be able to leave others. So as much as we'd love a big plot of land, Realistically, looking after it for the next few years while we're away and back, away mm -hmm. and back, is just unrealistic, isn't it? It is, yeah. But we do have one more to see. There is one more to see. I'm not going to lie to you. We're not overly excited about it. We don't think it's the one. Uh, we have also seen uh, quite a few more than what we've filmed, but not all of them have A, been film filmable, B, the yep. weather's not been there to film them, and C, we've not had the time. Sometimes you get a very short period of time. So, yeah, yeah we've got one more left on our list, and if that's not the one, then we're going to have to start the whole process again. But we're in no rush, are we? No, we have got plenty of time. Um, we would like to put an offer in, please. Oh my god. I love you. Right, love you. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Yes. We have entered into a bidding war. Oh no. Uh, it's a very stressful situation. If they bid again, that'll probably be us done. No! I tell you what, this is absolutely nerve-wracking. 